Comedian Red Fox talks to New 3 about the IRS seizing his belongings to pay for alleged underreported tax returns. LA's Vegas, KSNV, one of the most popular sitcom stars of the 1970s was also a longtime Las Vegas resident. It was here that 30 years ago, comedian Red Fox found himself in trouble with Uncle Sam over back taxes. The IRS takes every penny I make, Fox told News 3 on November 29, 89. Every week. They go down and get the money. Fox had been a nightclub performer in the 1950s and 60s known for his blue humor and party records. Then in 72, he hit the big time when he was cast in the lead role of the TV series Sanford and Son. Fox's income increased dramatically, as did his spending. He owned a home in Las Vegas and was often seen around town playing poker and otherwise enjoying himself. After the series was cancelled, Fox went back to stand-up comedy, with numerous lengthy engagements at the Hacienda, where Mandalay Bay is today. He made less money but still spent a lot, and the IRS charge that he was underpaying his income tax and up in his home was raided by federal agents, who began packing up his belongings and removing them. This is when Fox protested that his wages were already being garnished. That shows I'm trying to pay, said the distraught comedian. So why come and take my home and take my surroundings and my memorabilia? Stuff that I've gathered for years, they threw it on the ground and broke it. A couple of months later, much of his collection was put up for public auction, with samples arrayed on a display table. The IRS confiscated most of this jewelry from the entertainer's safety deposit box, said News 3's Sarah Holdeverler. $100,000 worth, just on this auction preview table alone. The man running the sale professed to have been a fan of Fox's comedy, and that he was just doing his job. Most all of the avenues have been exhausted except coming in and paying what you owe, said auctioneer Robert Darrow. And so I think that's where we're at here. That's my personal opinion. He pointed to a particularly eye-catching watch on the table. And it's gold into his it looks like it has a lapis style. A lapis lazuli dial. This is an extremely expensive piece. If you went to buy it in a jewelry store, it would cost more than, say, a diamond Zell Rolex. The auctioneer says a number of doctors and lawyers have expressed an interest in picking up Fox's house because it's a huge corner lot right on Eastern, Hobler told News 3 viewers. Obviously this is going to be one of the bigger ticket items at the auction, going a long way towards paying off Fox's debt. The entertainer fought the IRS in bankruptcy court and was ultimately allowed to keep his home and much of his collection, instead working out a new payment plan. In 91, Fox got another shot at network comedy, starring in the series The Royal Family alongside Del Reese. But just one month after the show began airing, Fox had a massive heart attack while rehearsing on the set and died. Two years later, many of Fox's possessions were once again available to the public, this time as part of an estate sale held by the entertainer's widow, Cotto Fox. Sammy Davis Jr. and Red Fox, she said, pointing to a framed photo for sale. They're both gone, but there are some memories there. Cotto Fox says some of Risen Red's most treasured memories will never be for sale, reported News 3's Ricky Cheese while standing in front of a familiar image. She plans to put items like this portrait from his much-loved Sanford and Sundays in a museum where they can be enjoyed by all.